This video demonstrates the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Wave Array on a corrugated metal roof constructed with east-west framing members. For full instruction on how to install a ZS Wave PV Array, visit the ZEP Solar website at zepsolar.com. There you will also find the Zepulator online design tool, which will assist you in your layout design, specify attachment point spans and cantilevers, and generate a bill of materials. Using your Zepulator layout for reference, mark the location for each cam foot. Then install Big Feet at each of these locations. To install a Big Foot, first align the mounting holes in the flange over the center of an east-west framing member. Shift the Big Foot to align the mounting holes with the peaks of the corrugations while staying centered over the layout mark. Drive two self-tapping ceiling lag screws through the corrugated peaks at either end of the Big Foot, taking care not to crush the roof surface. EPDM on the bottom of the Big Foot provides a watertight seal at the roof penetration, eliminating the need for additional sealant. For aesthetic purposes, the columns of the Big Feet on the far edges of the array can be shifted inward relative to their layout marks. Ensure that both lag screws will land outside of the mark. These are then installed in the same fashion as before. After all the Big Feet have been secured, install cam feet along the edge of the array that will receive the first modules. To install a cam foot, slide it into the channel of the Big Foot, aligning it with your layout mark. Use the flat tool to rotate the lower portion of the cam foot, called the cam nut, one quarter turn clockwise, securing it in the channel of the Big Foot. Install the top and bottom most cam feet first, and then run a string line between them. Install the remaining cam feet in this column using the string line to ensure that the front row is straight and the rockets on the top of the cam feet are level. After all the cam feet have been secured on the first column of the Big Feet, array skirt sections are installed. Place the first section of array skirt on the key side of the cam feet, adjust for the correct cantilever, and rotate it into place. To keep the array skirt secure, insert a jam into each cam foot. To install the next section of array skirt, place a spacer onto the key side of an interlock and insert the interlock into the array skirt at a slight angle, aligning to the timing marks on the top of the interlock. Using the ZEP tool, rotate the ZEP in the first section of skirt 90 degrees from position 1 to position 3. Rotate the next section of array skirt onto the remaining cam feet while simultaneously turning the ZEP to position 3. This causes the array skirt to fully seat. The array skirt will serve as a jig to keep the first column of modules straight and square during installation. To install a module, place the groove along the module's lower edge onto the tongues of the first column of cam feet and interlocks. Use the alignment marks on the interlock to position the modules and to maintain consistent spacing. The marks are about one half inch or 12 millimeters apart. Then pivot the modules downward while applying forward pressure, causing the module groove to seat on the tongues of the cam feet and interlock. As an alternative to using an array skirt, additional big feet can be added to the first column so each module will rest on two cam feet during installation. An interlock is then installed to couple the modules. After the first modules have been installed, install cam feet along the opposite side of the module. With the cam nut aligned in the channel of the big foot, insert the key side of the cam foot into the module and engage by hand, or with the ZEP tool or flat tool to provide additional leverage. Then rotate the cam nut one quarter turn clockwise to secure the cam nut to the channel of the big foot. Couple the modules along this edge using an interlock at each module seam. Insert the interlock by hand into the groove at a slight angle, making sure to maintain a consistent gap between modules by referencing the alignment marks on the interlock. Use the ZEP tool or flat tool to turn each ZEP from position 1 to position 3, aligning the numbered timing marks on the ZEP tool with the timing marks on the interlock. If a cam foot is needed in the same location as an interlock, a hybrid interlock is threaded into the cam foot stud in place of the rocket, and the assembly is then installed in the same manner. Next, the interarray wiring is managed along the edge of the modules. To secure the wiring, load a cable into a cable clip and snap the clip into the groove. Slide the clip along the groove to eliminate cable slack. Two clips per module are recommended for proper wire management. Now that the first column of modules is fully installed, the array skirt is no longer needed and can be removed from the edge of the array. To remove the array skirt, first use the flat tool to remove the jams from each cam foot along the array skirt. Then use the flat tool to disengage the interlock zeps by turning each from position 3 to position 1. 
Rotate each section of array skirt off the cam feet. Remove the interlock spacer and reinstall the key side of the interlock at the module seam. These sections of array skirt can be reused for future array installations. Install subsequent columns of modules in the same manner as the first, dropping in, installing cam feet, coupling modules with interlocks, and securing wiring. The tongues of the interlocks and cam feet allow fine adjustments to be made to the modules in order to optimize placement and to correct for slight variation in frame size while ensuring that columns are straight and gaps between modules are consistent. This flexibility allows for continual truing of the array as it is built. After the array is complete, or after each column of modules is installed, check the array for level and make any necessary adjustments to compensate for an uneven roof surface. Using the ZEP tool with a number 30 Torx bit inserted into its end, rotate the threaded stud of the cam foot to raise or lower the array at each cam foot location. Because the interlock is a listed device for establishing ground bond connections between modules in both the east-west and north-south directions, there is no need to install separate grounding hardware within the array. In order to carry the ground bond path back to earth, install a ground ZEP with a quarter turn of the ZEP tool on the perimeter of the array where it can receive the PV Array Equipment Grounding Conductor. This completes the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Wave Array on a corrugated metal roof.